Hi right, everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host of Hut, and of course this is the Baseball Hut, and please like this video and subscribe, and send me super thanks if you can, and uh, let me know what you think about it. So, <clears throat> there's been a lot of talk about Andrew Benintendi and the Kansas City Royals. Uh, Ten of the 26 players from the, their team are unvaccinated and they can't play in Toronto. Now, what this has to do with the Mets is interesting, is because because of this, um, his status, Andrew Benintendi's status, uh, it takes off pretty much the American League East off the table in terms of who would be picking him up. The Yankees were linked. I think the Red Sox were linked too. They wanted to bring him back. Uh, but according to John Heyman of the New York Post, it seemed like uh, the Mets still have him on their radar. I don't think he's a perfect fit for this team because he just doesn't have enough power. He's sort of like a a, a left-handed version of Mark Kanye with, with better defense. Um, he's more of an everyday player than Kanye is. Uh, but I don't see that as really as a fit for the Mets. Obviously, um, maybe for next year, if they lose Brandon Nimmo, maybe get bat him lead off play him in left field and have him be the leader hitter on this team. But he's really not a very good uh, fit for right now. Uh, now let me know let me know what you think about that. And the Mets were supposed to play today, but they got rained out in Chicago. They're going to play a doubleheader tomorrow. A uh, daylight, uh, daytime, nighttime doubleheader. They weren't going to play that on Sunday, I can tell you that. Uh, a couple of things. The Sands going to get very busy over the next uh, few weeks. Uh, leading up to the deadline and after the deadline, because they must have a big series against the Braves after August 2nd. But just to sort of give you an idea of what's coming up on this channel, uh, there's going to be a big live stream on this Sunday. We're going to have the draft. The Mets have five of the first 90 picks. But for, for Sunday night in the first round, the Mets will have two of the first 14. They'll have the 11th pick and the 14th pick. And I will be on live during the process of the draft. Uh, the draft, I don't know how big it's going to be this year. It was huge last year. But I'm going to be on, and I'll probably be on around 6.30ish to sort of lead up. I know the MLB Network is coming on around 6, and the draft starts at 7. I would think probably the Mets' first pick, the 11th pick, uh, which they got for not signing Kuma Rocker, he will, uh, that pick will come up probably around 8 o'clock. And then the 14th pick should be coming up around 820-ish, 825. So I'll be on for a while with you. I probably won't stay for the whole draft uh, because after that, really, if with Mets fans, I don't really care about that. <laughs> but I'll be on for a while. But uh, you need to subscribe because I will give you different things here that other channels don't do. So uh, another thing. Jacob DeGrom is on target to probably either pitch... The 24th, when the Mets come back from the All-Star break, which is a Sunday, or the 26th, which is against the Yankees at City Field. I also would mention as well, uh, on that Sunday before that game against the Padres, I will have uh, Hum Baby Baseball on my channel, and we'll talk about baseball and, and the Giants and the Mets and, and, the, and the trading deadline. So we're going to have guests on. I'm going to try to get other guests on. Uh, and we'll see how that works out. But uh, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Baseball Hut. Thank you, and I'll see you later.